Here's a list of the items that you need. Diapers, two boxes, at least 60 diapers, rubber bands, about 20 or more, paper towel roll, a round platter or a round piece of cardboard, a glue gun or strong craft glue, narrow ribbon, wide ribbon, baby trinkets and toys, and safety pins. Happy crocheting. There's the rubber ducky on the top. I did not glue it, I just set it up there. Here's some other close-ups. I've got some pacifiers, diaper rash, little baby carriage, spoons, whatever you want to put on it. This is what the diapers will look like when you roll them up, but instead of putting the rubber band in the middle, put it about a third to a fourth of the way down from the top. So I discovered that when I rolled up all the diapers and put the rubber band around them, I had put the rubber band in the middle. Um, they were kind of tight, it left a crease, and I needed a whole bunch of rubber bands. So it is easier to just go ahead and roll it up like so and take the rubber band and put it around one-fourth to one-third and down from the top, not completely in the middle. You might want to go ahead and make the diaper um, as you're making the cake rather than making them ahead of time. But you can make them ahead of time. I'm just warning you um, that it might leave a crease uh, in the diaper, which is what happened to me. So roll it up like so, put the rubber band on a fourth or a third of the way down, and then you're good to go. These are some of the items that I purchased to put on the cake. I did not use every single one of them, but I did buy these stickers. I thought they were really cute. And um, I did buy things from Walmart, the dollar store, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels. Here's some spoons. I'll put those on the cake. Also, I got a little bottle of shampoo. Do not buy the large bottles they they won't look good on the cake so that large blue one don't use that here is an owl a little toy and some baby carriages i also got some ribbon i bought three different colors of ribbon you can just buy one here's some diaper rash and some pacifiers also some washcloths and some bibs. I end up using one bib on this particular diaper cake. So you'll have extras. This is a little book that I bought that I also put on the cake. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got this platter. Uh, you can use a piece of cardboard and, and cut out a shape. Um, whatever would be sufficient for you and the cake you're going to make. Um, I did take a paper towel ro roll and glue gun it to the bottom of the platter. I bought Love's size one. That'll make uh, the smaller cake, the bigger the diaper, the bigger the cake. And I didn't know the color of the diapers because you can't see through any of the diaper packages. This cake is for a little girl. These diapers are blue and purple. I had already bought some pink items. I went out and got some more little items that would blend in better with the color of the diapers, uh, including the ribbon that I purchased. And the first row is six diapers. And you see where I had put the rubber band. I think it kind of left a crease, but the ribbon is going to go around the middle. So I made the diapers as I was making the cake and the rubber band that is around each diaper now, once that I took the ribbon and tied the ribbon around all six diapers, now I can take the rubber bands off and the ribbon will hold it in place. Um, the next row around is going to be 12 diapers and the next row will be 18. That will be your base level of diapers going around the cake. Uh, the next row up is going to be 12 diapers and the next row will be six diapers. So for each row of diapers that you put together, you use the ribbon to tie it together and then take the rubber bands off. So our first row was six diapers. I put the seam facing towards 
the paper towel roll and I do that with each with each row uh, the second row is 12 diapers I put a blue ribbon around this row as well and tied it double knotted it and I will take the scissors and, and cut the stragglers down so that it still won't come apart and I um, will do a third row of 18 diapers and then I will start on the next level upwards and that's going to be 6 and 12 and then the very top level will just be 6 diapers. Okay, so I finished the last row for the base, which is 18 diapers, and now we're going to move on to the next level up. So the second level up is 6 diapers and 12 diapers and put your ribbon around and take your rubber bands off. So now I have finished the top with six diapers, which does hide the paper towel roll. And I've lined up the little blue ribbon where I tied it. I put it all kind of in a line in case I use this for the back of the cake. I don't want that to show. And I took the wider ribbon and I wrapped it around the bottom. Uh, this is the bottom level. I will use other ribbons for the middle and the top. I took a safety pin and I put that together with a safety pin and what I will take is um, one of the items such as the shampoo to hide the safety pin by using a glue gun and gluing it. So I have finished putting the ribbon at the top layer which is a, a pretty little purple sparkly ribbon, uh, the It's a Girl ribbon on the middle. I've added some toys. I may rearrange this, but for right now, I've added the little owl toy, and I put one of the baby carriages at the top. I just set it on top of that safety pin for now. Um, I will cover that up. This had a Velcro attachment, so that fit perfectly underneath the ribbon. It also is hiding my safety pin, so I put that there. I may do may cover that up with something else as well. So we've got the owl and we've got the baby carriage attached to the cake so far. So I am going to glue the shampoo and I added a little washcloth that just fit behind that ribbon right there. I'm going to put a bib behind the owl and just tie that in. I have the spoon and the uh, safety pin there. I will tie a ribbon to hide that. I've got the diaper rash. I just stuck that in. And you see how I used the ribbon there for the pacifier. I'll do that with the uh, baby carriage as well. Um, again, there's another spoon. You just stick it in the center of the diaper. And I put the book. I just slid the book in. There's the pink rubber ducky. And I just slid the book in behind um, uh, behind the ribbon there. So I put a sticker right there in front of the book and periodically in different places around the cake. I'm just trying to zoom in so that you can kind of uh, see a close-up of it. Used um, a little white ribbon to tie the baby carriages uh, in place instead of using glue. That way they can... She can use the diapers instead, so they don't have glue all over them. Um, again, there's a blue ribbon holding the pacifier. Another sticker. And I sprinkled confetti, pink confetti, over the cake. I might add a little bit more also at the bottom of the cake. Um, I glued the shampoo, put a little sticker on the top and put a bib behind uh, the owl. And the bib does hide the safety pin. I'll do a little close up so you can see. There's the safety pin right there and I did hide that with the owl. So that worked out well. And I think this is just going to look great as a centerpiece for the baby shower. Turned out very well. 